less than 4.5 multiply with 7. Make sure you've watched the previous lesson so you don't become lost or confused. We can multiply with 7 by using the commutative property of multiplication, the distributive property, we can skip count on a number line or use doubles when at least one factor is even. We can use the commutative property as a strategy because we can use a multiplication fact that we already know to find a product that we don't know. If we know 3 times 7, it's equal to 7 times 3 because the commutative property says we can multiply in any order. We can just put it in a different order and find the product. We did that in video 3.6 and there'll be a link in the description. We can use the distributive property as a strategy to break apart a multiplication fact that we don't know into facts that we do know. 3 times 7 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 4. We broke the 7 into a 3 plus 4. We distribute this 3 to this 3 and then to the 4 with the addition sign in between them. So it's equal to 3 times 3 plus 3 times 4. That might be easier to solve. Emma gives her dog a clean bowl of water every morning. How many times will Emma give her dog a clean bowl of water in four weeks? So our hint is one week is equal to seven days. And she's giving a clean bowl of water every morning, so that means every day. We have four weeks times seven days in a week. It's equal to 4 times 7. If we already know 7 times 4, we can use that fact to solve 4 times 7. And the commutative property of multiplication says we can multiply in any order. We can use the distributive property to break apart a factor into easier multiplication facts. If we don't know 4 times 7, we can break the 7 into a 5 plus a 2. Then we distribute the 4 to the 5 plus 4 to the 2. We take an array that is 4 rows and 7 in each row, and we break it into 5 in each row and 2 in each row. So we have 4 times 5 plus 4 times 2. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. We add the 20 plus the 8 and 4 times 7 is equal to 28. We also could have used 1 plus 6 or 3 plus 4 to break apart 7. We can use a number line to skip count by 7s with 4 jumps. 4 times 7, we would skip 7 4 times. 7, 14, 21, 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Emma gave her dog a clean bowl of water 28 times. We can use the distributive property to break apart a factor into several multiplication facts we already know. 4 times 7, we can break it into a 2 plus 2 times 7. We would do 2 times 7 plus 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is equal to 14 plus 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. We add doubles because this 4 is even. We break it into a 2 plus 2. 14 plus 14 is equal to 28. For our array, instead of having 4 rows of 7, we have 2 rows of 7 plus 2 rows of 7. We can break apart 4 times 7 into a 3 plus 1 times 7. We can do 3 times 7 if we already know the answer for 3 times 7. And we can do 1 times 7 added to that. So we can do 3 times 7 plus another 7. 3 times 7 is equal to 21 plus 7 more is equal to 28. We do 3 groups of 7 plus 1 more group of 7. If we know that 
2 times 7 is equal to 14, we can add another 7 and then another 7. We can do 2 times 7, which is equal to 14, add 7 more, and then add 7 more. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 14 is equal to 28. And it's very helpful to break apart one of the factors when the multiplication facts are large, like 8 times 9 or 6 times 9. Breaking them apart makes it easier because you can use facts that you already know. And you can use doubles when one of the factors is even. Chris has a dog named Dingo. How many cups of food will Dingo eat in one week? We look on here and it says, Food, two cups each day. How many days in one week? There's seven days. And if he's getting two cups a day, we're going to do seven days times two cups a day. That's seven times two. That's equal to 14 cups a week. How many more walks does Dingo get each week than cups of food? He gets four walks each day. He gets two cups each day of food. 7 days times 4 walks a day is 28 walks in one week. We know he gets 14 cups in a week. We do 28 minus the 14. He gets 14 more walks than cups of food each week. Do you see the unnecessary information in this frequency table? We didn't need to know about bath, did we? It wasn't even in the problem. So that was unnecessary, unneeded information. And sometimes word problems will have unnecessary information. If Chris takes Dingo to the dog park three times each month, how many times do they go to the dog park in seven months? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find how many times they go to the dog park in seven months. We can circle the important information. He goes three times each month for seven months. We can write a multiplication sentence. Seven times three is equal to 21 times to the dog park. We can check our answer, make sure 21 is correct. We can break apart the seven into a five plus two and do five times three plus two times three that would be 15 plus 6, which is equal to 21. We could also use repeated addition to check our answer. We can do 7 threes and total them up, and our sum would be 21, so we know that answers correctly. We could also do 3 sevens and check our answer with repeated addition. 7 plus 7 plus 7 is equal to 21, so we know our answer is correct. It really helps if you have your times table memorized, which remember, you need to do before you start fourth grade. So now you know some different strategies to multiply with seven or any factor that's a big number. You can use the commutative property of multiplication. You can use the distributive property and break apart one of the factors into smaller amounts that you do know. You can skip count on a number line or use doubles when at least one of the factors is even. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep going. I think you can do it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.